Good evening, ladies and germs. Welcome to Who's Online Is It Anyway, where the mandates are made up and the appeals courts don't matter. I'm Toxic Male, and sitting across from me with a shit-eating grin on his face because he just ate shit, Terry <laughs> Pot. <laughs> What's up, you sissy sucker, glory hole attendant? Oh my. Welcome. <laughs> that is a visceral mental image, and we're only like 10 seconds in. I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> Go from eating shit to sissy sucking glory hole attendant. <sighs> I always got to insult him when he come in, man. That's how it works. Oh, he's going for the cold brew early. Yeah. Listen, the stupidity is coming faster and faster. They can't make enough alcohol to keep up with it. It's like trying to dodge tracer rounds when you forget that there's six bullets in between each yeah. tracer. Yeah, I can dodge that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good idea, fairy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot my magic wand. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Well, it, in current year with current administration, duly elected, of course, quite a lot. Yeah, chaos in the streets, <laughs> all kinds of bad shit. Well, that's just a continuation of last year. You know, stunning and brave, fiery. Yeah, it, uh, the thing is, though, is all right, last year you had the left and a, their, their choice groups going crazy. And now you have the... the you know, the ice cream social took place, and now they're running the show, and we're seeing what they're doing. It's not good. I mean, we have gas prices, seven bucks a gallon, starting on the West Coast. They're starting to creep up on the East Coast. Yeah. You know, and, and he's shutting down more pipelines. It's it's, well, it's They're considering Fucking it. ugly. Yeah, is it, let's puke it on a pile of shit. Oh, my God! Like I've been saying... When you can't feed your family, you can't heat your house, you can't, you have no job or whatever. Listen, man, that is, that is how you prime the pump for a, a lot of bad shit. And I'm just using historical examples here. Yeah. It's a horrible recipe for blueberry pie, but it's a terrific recipe for a civil war. Unfortunately, yeah, nobody's listening. <laughs> well, that's not completely true. We do have some people listening tonight. Uh, we got uh, dun, 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 365 currently tuning in over on YouTube, 44 over on Twitch, 63 on DLive, 47 on Odyssey, and 26 on MGTOW.TV. Thank you all so much for tuning in. All right. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Let's we get those numbers up. Everything. Get the numbers up. Let's pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers, man. Yeah, you got to give those numbers some boner pills. Yeah. I was kind of hoping we'd be up to like 1,300, but, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, the night is young. Mm. The night is very young. Unlike our duly elected commander-in-chief. <laughs> but we all know about this, but we got to talk about it. Here Appeals we go. court temporarily halts Biden's poke mandate for businesses. I mean, it's almost like it's unconstitutional. You think? <laughs> you think, bit. really? Well, first of all, you know, where does it stop? Uh, apparently the Fifth Circuit, which is uh, amazing well, because they used to be well, as left-leading as it gets. They, like, the, the Nazi party in like 33, 38, somewhere in there, put together like something similar. And it, it got to the point where they were just, for the, the, the better betterment of society, yep. they're, they're putting retards to death. You know, other people who are like, you know, crippled. And then it, it, it just got worse and worse. Oh, I mean, they're not doing that now, right? They're not trying to create different classes of citizens based on jab, right? I mean, that would just be ludicrous. Yeah. Especially yeah. since they're the side constantly reminding everybody about World War II. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm just saying. Yeah, and, and Antifa was actually uh, showed up uh, to a uh, vaccine. Was that it? was hilarious. Yeah, you got the anti- you know, the anti-anarchist or whatever. The, the, the anti-fascist. Anti-fascist. Literally it. fighting against people who don't want to be... Who don't want fascism. Who don't want to be a victim of fascism. <laughs> a bunch of fucking idiots. Wow. I mean, as if we needed proof that they were actually the fascists. I mean, we've, we've known. Yeah. But now they're, they're literally going out and fighting for fascism. Because what else do you call it? Medical apartheid, maybe? You could wash your clothes in it. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if it gives, leaves them minty fresh. Minty fresh. Smells like 
Gwyneth Paltrow candles. <laughs> Ugh. What a what a bad decision that was, man. Oh, what speaking of thinking? bad decisions, holy shit. Uh Stunning and Brave, blue right. screen Biden. Now, first oh, of wait, all, we gotta do it. Hang on. All right. Our government requires checks and balances. Yes. All right. What is he what he's doing here is dick taster shit. <laughs> Yeah, um, I would call this impeachable. And it's not the first thing that he's done since he's taken yeah, office that's he, impeachable. He is totally, totally stretching out the country's tonsils with this dictatorship. White House tells businesses to proceed with poke mandate despite court-ordered pause. Yeah, but we don't need the judicial branch, right? Yeah, I mean, and like... What are you fucking doing? You're pissing off the, the judicial branch by doing shit like this. You think they're going to, you know, oh, now we're going to give you favorable decisions. No. Yeah. No. See, the, right, what we're seeing here, this is, we've already experienced the wobble for the past couple of years. We're about to tilt it. Now you're seeing the, the, the whole thing start slowing down. And when the top falls over, it is fucking game on. Excuse me. I mean, this is just, you can't make this stuff up. No. I mean, this is like 1984 come to life. Well, everyone knew this was going to happen. Ugh. Republican attorneys, ge attorneys general in at least 26 states have challenged the Polk mandate and testing requirements in five different appeals courts. Why did it take this long for one to come back and say, you know what? That kind of violates that whole Tenth Amendment thing. I think maybe we should put a, put the brakes on that one. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And you know, oh God. I guess this is why Soros decided he would devote a lot of money to installing district attorneys and whatnot all around the country because that dude this is what you get. You don't get justice. That dude needs to catch a, a, a terminal velocity illness. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I just... Ugh. It's fucking aggravating, man. It really is, and that's you have to laugh about it because if you don't, you're going to go insane or, or drink more. Yeah, not that we know about that or anything. I'm already like two shots deep already. We just started. <laughs> Joe Biden admits that life under his presidency sucks. Well, at least he's being <laughs> honest. There's a lot of anxiety. Gas prices are up exceedingly high. Well, no shit. Yeah, let's that, let's hear it in the man's own uh, words. Yeah, let's go. We're in a situation where there's a lot of a lot of anxiety. Gas prices are up exceedingly high. They've been up. Oh, that's all. Could that have anything to do with the fact that you killed the Keystone Pipeline your first week in office and have been directly attacking the energy sector ever since? Yeah, Gee, I wonder why. Oh, when Trump was in office, we were in, we were energy independent. Yep. And now here we are being slaves to OPEC again and all other horse shit yep. they have going on. And, of course, how do you put out a fire that has spun completely out of control? By dumping gas on it. White House confirms Biden effort to shut down another major pipeline, the Enbridge Line 5. Yeah, what are you guys going to do uh, when gas is $12 a gallon? Yeah. And you know what uh, our former governor, stunning and brave Jennifer Granholm, said when she was asked about this? She laughed. Yeah, I know. As if people spending almost double for their energy bills this winter is something to be hysterically funny. Yeah. Like I said, you can't feed your kids, can't heat your house, you can't work, travel. It's fucking not going to work out. You know, Jennifer Granholm was a shit governor while she was in charge of Michigan. She did one good thing. One. Hmm. In however long she was in office. She was an absolute shit show. And now as energy secretary... She just shit her pants and flossed her ass with the sheets on the way out. Yep. Yes, she did. F and that whore. Yep. So, uh, yeah, dudes, stock up. Uh, yeah, go out and get food, things like that now, dried beans, rice. Stock up so you don't have to go out as much this winter unless you absolutely have to because we're just seeing the, uh, the tip right before it goes balls deep in our ass of that iceberg. Yep. And like when we start having rolling blackouts and people, it's just, listen, man, people are going to get really pissed off. Yep. And we outnumber them. Yes, we do. So it's not gonna that fight's not going to go how they think it's going to go. Well, in the beginning, it'll be bad, but 
the, it won't in the long run they won't be able to sustain it mm-hmm. but it's not oh, all yeah, you know yeah. terrible news uh, oh, i this, find this hysterical oh is this where they're gonna try to like ram it up our ass that it's a good thing oh no no it gets this this is for that we're gonna get to that obama rages after former white house doctor claims i'm 100 percent sure that joe biden is incapable of doing his job <laughs> I thought he yeah. was going to get upset, you know, when somebody finally broke the news to him that Big Mike's got a penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Although I'm sure he knows by yeah, now. He knew that by now. Yeah, they uh, they little, play swords at the urinal. His, his so-called wife with the colon tickler. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> hey, Barry, you want a tonsil massage? Sure, Big Mike. <laughs> bastard <laughs> yes that one was black yeah 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 it's hilarious uh barack obama and biden gang have a fit when former white house doctor ronnie jackson claimed that joe biden is unable mentally to perform the job of the president of the united states because he's senile who knew he should have retired 10 years ago uh, i mean do he... he shouldn't have run for the second you know he should have been done his cognitive decline during his campaign was obvious mm -hmm. since he has taken office Wow. Well, first of all, wow. Being the, the uh, being the president is probably incredibly stressful. Yeah, but he's so, not really the president. We know that. I know. I know. <laughs> but the you know he's already cognitive declining, old as shit, and he's going to add in all of the stress. Of course, it's speeding up. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just common sense. That's right. Common sense is a superpower. Yeah. Unfortunately, people you know, don't deal too much in that anymore. Yeah, that's been. You can only find, you know, common sense in the definition of superpowers in the Marvel universe. Yeah, uh, for for how well that uh, is going to hold up. Uh, I hear the Eternals is a steaming pile of pig shit. All right, first of all, I don't believe any of these fucking polls. Well, we gotta we gotta lead into it first, man. I, I know, but I just saw which <laughs> I saw those stats on the on the on the screen. Like I said, it's not all bad news mm. because even in cherry-picked push polls that oversample Democrats on an average of three to five points, mm -hmm. Biden's approval has dropped to 38%. Now, I'm, I'm just going to ask. I mean, we all work with people that we're not friends with. Do you actually know any solid Biden supporters? I do not. Oh, I know of some. I have unfriended them, and I will not. I'm done associating with those people. Because they, you cannot reason with them. Number one, no. Number two, um, they suffer from a mental illness, or they're incredibly mentally weak. They're so susceptible to this propaganda; oh, it is yeah. insane. And then the minute you confront them with evidence, they just dig the they dig the grave deeper. Oh yeah, and when confronted with proof that they have a mental illness like that. That article that we covered that shows more than half of liberal women under 30 have a mental illness of some kind. Oh, shit. Oh, the hate mail blew up. It was glorious. <laughs> We're just telling the truth. <laughs> hey, hey, you don't like the facts. Don't talk to us. We're just presenting them to you. Listen, reality is, the truth is not an insult, and reality is not an attack. You can buy that shirt on patrolbase.net. Bitches. Or you can buy this one on the Streamlabs merch store. It's a good time. Not Streamlabs. Stream Elements. Sorry. No, sorry. Bad. Sorry. <clears throat> it's all good. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> yeah. Do you approve or disapprove of the jo job Joe Biden has done as president? 37.8% approve. Kamala Harris has now set a world record for being the least liked vice president in history with an approval rating of 278 Holy hot damn! How did you fuck that at up? At what so point bad? do we just to say fuck it and start over? At what? what at how low does this <laughs> approval have to go? Ten <laughs> percent? I mean, just remember, this is published on USA Today. Yeah, they are the same people who expect you to believe that this pairing of fuckwits got eighty-one million votes a year ago. I'm not saying that that didn't happen. I can't say that because of the pro the platform that we're on, but I'm just saying it's it, that's a lot to swallow. What do you, you said, it, Amy Horton, on her first date? What are you trying to say that the ice cream cones that were delivered, eighty one million scoops social? of ice cream, man, were there was some chocolate in there, and it turned out that chocolate was shit. Yeah, I would hate to go to that ice cream social. 
<laughs> or a Tess Holiday Neapolitan. Oh, <laughs> God damn you. Herpes, spaghetti, and garlic bread. <laughs> stop, man. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Serious. Stop it. Oh, my God. That's horrible. <sighs> what is wrong with you, bro? I know. I know. I'm a terrible person, but you know I learned from the best. I know. I trained you well, yeah. <laughs> Young Padawan. <laughs> but. Yeah. This go. is called the leftoids versus, or facts versus leftoids. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Uh, wow. E- even when faced with all of this. The numbers don't lie. MSNBC gaslights with a claim that inflation is a good thing. All right. <sighs> all right. Hang on a minute. Hang all right. Here we go. I gotta itch my ear. Okay. I have a feeling he's about to get spun up. Is inflation a good thing for Venezuela? No. Was it a good thing for Cuba? No. I mean, those people in Cuba, they lived on pennies a day for decades, and they've been, you know, economically just gutted. Yep. It happened in Venezuela. It's happening all over the place where you're getting this dick dick taster shit going. (laughs) That's correct. Mm. Holy cow. Why the inflation we're seeing now is a good thing. Oh, my God. Now, this is the funniest part here. It's not even this article. I mean, cognitive disconnect of this type is just typical from MSNBC, or MSNPC, I should say. Two weeks ago, the Babylon Bee put out a satirical article. Ten great things about hyperinflation. (laughs) When you're... When news... Is more satirical than the Babylon B, you done fucked up. Yeah. Wow. And I was watching some old black uh, was it uh was a documentary on YouTube. They were showing people before uh, Hitler came to power, people were actually heating their house with bundles of money because oh, wow. it was cheaper than coal. Whew. That's messed up. Uh, you want to read the uh, the 10 great things about hyperinflation? This should be funny. Oh, yeah. Number one, with your cash now worthless, you have plenty of toilet paper. You can save all yourself all those awful shit ticket runs to Costco. <laughs> Number two, you can become an origami expert. Make little swans and lovely cranes out of your cash. It will at least triple its worth. Well, they do that in Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah. Number three, you can finally get rid of that pesky belly fat because no food. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is no. a, a bunch of you out there who could stand to lose a few, I'm just saying. Yeah, if shit goes the way I'm going, you ultra-fat people, you're not going to be able to keep up. You're going to die. Hey, first rule of zombie land is cardio, mother fornicators. Yeah. If you cannot move and you need a battery-powered scooter to get more calories from uh, Wal- <laughs> Walmart, you wallow motherfuckers, <laughs> you're going to die. You're going to you die. You can't jump over the eight-foot wall. You take a hell of a lot of resources to maintain... Your health is shit. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> hyperinflation sounds really cool. Like when Luke Solo drove his Millennium Falcon into hyperspace in the Star Wars movie. Neat. <laughs> Number five. So, uh, there's a nerd out there who just got pissed off somewhere. <laughs> Achieve your lifelong goal of becoming a millionaire. You don't even have to travel to Venezuela. Unfortunately, a double cheeseburger also costs a million dollars. <laughs> Wow. I was say Bill Gates is worth how many billions of dollars, and apparently a, a good haircut costs just that much more. Well, the thing is, is uh, Bill Gates, when this gets bad, is going to wind up getting a... Uh, a JFK haircut? A JFK haircut. That is correct. That's probably what's going to happen to a lot of people who are... And when it gets bad, people are just going to blame people. Oh, of course. I mean, that's historically, that's the way it goes. Uh, I mean, but look at it right now. The left blames everybody except themselves, and... Big government is responsible for everything they bitch about. Yeah. I mean, so what's their solution? More of it. More government, because that's <laughs> going to fix everything. Historically, that's worked out so well in every single instance. Not. Okay, we're going to have to go with a big fuck off. <laughs> Number six, make lifelong friends while chatting in the bread line. <laughs> There's no better bonding experience than standing in a bread line and then fighting off a gang of machete-wielding thugs trying to take your bread. <laughs> yeah. That's Number what's... seven, swole biceps from hauling wheelbarrows of cash just to buy a hot pocket. It will be used to heat your home. <laughs> 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 Number eight, great job security as long as you work at a money printing press. 
<laughs> Number nine, you finally have an excuse to cash in that unsightly gold tooth. ka -ching! And number 10, equity at last. Thanks to hyperinflation, everyone will soon be on the same level of starvation of death. Yay for equity. Yes, that's exactly what happens. So many great things about hyperinflation, dudes. <laughs> I mean, you just got to look for the silver lining, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. Uh, look at what's the worst that can happen. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What are you going to do? A good idea if Ferry showed up for that one. <laughs> the good idea if Ferry always shows up uninvited, man. I, that's not... That one's been released, right? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, you guys seen the Good Idea Fair? Yeah, you, you gotta like watch that one? that one. You better have. Yeah, how many people we have watching now? We are up to eight hundred and twenty-two, uh, and I'm thinking that some people might be getting kicked off of the stream because when we first started, we had like hundred and seventy-six people watching. I clicked go live, eighty disappeared. And now we're having a hard time cracking a thousand. When last week, at this point in the stream, we were already up well over that. Yeah, I wonder if we're being throttled. How many likes do we have? Four hundred and two, less than half. What are you doing, gentlemen? You guys, got to smash it like a virgin on prom night. Mm. Do it. <sighs> and we can get to some super chats if you like, good sir. What do you say? Yeah. Let's yeah, do we like super chats around here. Let's jump back to the beginning here. Cliff thirty one eighty eight. Evening, gents. Something I heard today. Taking medical advice from Doctor Fauci is like taking a gun safety course from Alec Baldwin. Oh my God! Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Starting off the night with good jokes. Triggers uh. McNickers with a twenty dollar donation. Thank you so much. Historically speaking, to eradicate a culture without genocide, one must make disarmed eunuchs of their men, dishonorable whores of their women, and disobedient traitors of their children. So who's trying to conquer us then? Ooh. Ooh uh, yeah. Eh, eh, too soon. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big fat touche right there. Yeah. He's absolutely correct. He is. Damn. Holy fuck. This is why this guy helps editing the videos. Thank you very much, Triggers. You're the man. Crazy Uncle. I doubt too many are maintaining themselves during No Nut November. Pop, you've been deployed, so you've done this before. Second week is always the worst. Just don't, just don't touch your shit, man. <laughs> well, just, the thing is, if you don't, God's going to take care of it, and then you've got to do laundry. You just put stuff in your hands, and then you just stay busy. <laughs> And your hands don't go north of the south of the equator, and touch your uh, your uh, yogurt slinger. Make sure you put the, the no fat flap over your webcam. You know. Okay, man. <laughs> I saw some of that shit on the deep web there. The deep web, the, the balls dark, deep the dark, web, the dark, oh, dark web, okay. dark web. They're showing uh, on one side. I went to doesn't exist anymore, but they're they're showing uh, hackers get in and hack your computer. And film you with your own fucking shit. You don't even know what's on because you can't tell. So guess what? Yeah. I put the fucking uh, flap over that shit because if a <laughs> hacker that can do that, the, you know the government are, are, is already doing it. Yeah, all of a sudden that scene in American Pie with Shannon Elizabeth Tits isn't so funny anymore, is it? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Just saying. Crazy Uncle again. For Pops Preppers, I hope you guys are focusing on food sustainability. It is getting so bad that even survival food is running low. What are your thoughts? Well, unfortunately, um, it's going to be harder and harder once shit gets really crazy to, to get your food. So you need to get on it right now. Yeah. Now, I know uh, another good place to get some good dry goods is the dollar store. Yep. Uh, Aldi. Is a good cheaper option than, than like some main line stores. No, I went to a dollar store several months back. Spent like 110 bucks, and I literally filled my trunk up with, you know, pasta, rice aroni, dried beans, some some canned potted meat and stuff like that. Hell yeah, man! It yeah. does work. Yeah, it is. I, I mean, people look down on those who eat spam. But when you have to choose between that and your dog, trust me, spam is pretty fucking delicious. Well, actually, you can. You can I've cooked up some spam that's pretty damn tasty. Oh yeah, I do a little bit of a, a little bit of like lemon pepper. So like I grill it up, you know, like sear it on one side, serve that with eggs and rice. It's pretty, pretty damn good. delicious. By the way, get some chickens if you're living in an area where you're able to. Yeah, yeah. 
because that's that's a two for one sale, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Brosif had a bonfire, slow cooked some ribs. Now watching y'all with a whiskey and a cigar. It's been oh. a fantastic day. Cheers. Yeah, fantastic moments. That sounds good to me. Frog keep spreading the good word, but really is eating out an old lady kind of like peeling apart a grilled cheese. Oh God! Yeah, it is. Well, actually, it's like a tuna melt. <laughs> tuna melt. Cooked with a Gwyneth Paltrow That's candle. Chunky stuff in there that's yeah. probably been there for decades. And you'll die if your tongue touches that. Yeah. Can you just say tuna melt back. I didn't order the cobwebs. <laughs> spider eggs. <laughs> oh, God. And cat hair. Ugh. Every time I hear a spider eggs, it reminds me of that scary story the chick who thought she had a pimple and then she splashed her yeah, face. Yeah, I remember the, that. The spider. Oh, God. Yeah. To see that realized in that scary stories movie. Yeah. It was it was pretty gnarly. Yeah, it didn't fuck with me at all. I'm not afraid. Yeah. No, did you see it? Insects. Yeah, I saw it. No, it wasn't bad. When that little leg came out, it was, like, yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, I mean, not great or anything. It's not like Halloween, but it's good. James P. with a 2069 donation. Thank you so much. And all he has to say is very simple. Be prepared. We're trying. Sam Turek with 50 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Sweet. Here's for a bottle of some quality bourbon from one bourbon-loving vet to another. Also, keep the growing motivation for Brandon going. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Ohio Trucker won with a $20 donation. Thank you so much. Out in the field hunting with my M1 Gar Garand. Hope I bag a deer or bear tomorrow. Blake, can we get a gonorrhea? No. Yeah, we, you can get two. I'll do the button. Gonorrhea. No. <laughs> Now dance, little monkey. Ah, got her here! Oh. <laughs> you don't want that. Riggs! Riggs! Oh, he's in the chat, too. How you doing, Riggs? You rat bastard. He's got to be dead by now. <laughs> We're going to get to some, some Riggs stuff later on New Tech. Oh, it's going to be comedy gold. We cannot talk about it on YouTube, no, but please, can't. when we go to New Tech later, you have to follow us over for this Fuck one because yeah. it is going to be glorious. It's going to be a good one. General Jackson, Pop, the great King Dong scale of Starburst Munging must be rebalanced, and the captain of the gay cruise is the prime target, Straw. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> yes, I am. Carry to the Swiss. Ah, oh, Christ, then you got these two giant horse cock scochi chingo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, at least you're happy. Yeah. We're here to entertain. James L. with 1999. Thank you very much, good sir. Hello, brothers. Hello, sister. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be a dick, huh? <laughs> it seemed like the right time for a button. Nine by twenty-three. I bet Biden got a big surprise when he felt Big Mike up. Oh my God! I bet it looked a little bit like this. <sighs> Although, judging from the photos, a lot bigger. <laughs> oh my God! I don't that even dude know. is that dude is smuggling a squirrel in them panties. <laughs> Goddamn nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> yes, it is. The crying game. Smooth criminal. My issue is the only way a president's numbers go up is when we get attacked. Look at the numbers for Bush. I'm looking for that false flag. It's going to happen. Oh, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting for it, too. I am waiting. And I, I wasn't a fan of Bush, either. I, I, I didn't approve of him or, the, or his son as president. I didn't really like them. Oh, yeah? Nah, man. Nah, they sucked. They really did. Well, unfortunately, the, the Republicans are sellouts and... And, yes. and the Bush senior and junior or no no was no exception. Yes. Uh ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm hearing about a two hundred second two hundred millisecond lag when the echo on the video drops. Uh not sure. Don't know why that would be happening or where it's coming from. I can do an audio check well, later. It's but. actually just I know what the expl explanation is. It's called uh, computer shit. Yes. Yeah, well, this particular mixer does have a 200 millisecond delay. Mm -hmm. I delay the sound through my sound mixer so that it matches. But anything that comes through the computer, it's it's like trying to piss into a shot glass that's spinning on a and record. And who player. says you don't use math once you get out of high school? I know, right? Shit. <laughs> But no, you got to teach them social justice instead. First of all, there's nothing social about social justice. Negative. And there's no justice in that either. No. 
Keith Harney with a 999 donation. Pop, have you ever got to watch a Humvee burn in on a heavy drop? Yes. I watched a colonel's vehicle burn in with radios in the mount from 900 feet. Oh, Ooh. everything was totaled. Damn. You know how much fucking paperwork that is? Oh, I can imagine. Because they have to go through the Humvee. They have to inventory everything that was on it. Then they have to make sure if anything is salvageable and works, which usually it doesn't if other than the pioneer tools will probably still work, but that's like axes and shovels and stuff. But that sensitive radio equipment, that shit is gone. Gone. Reaper Zero One, the Dollar Tree went from a dollar to a dollar twenty five. Mm-hmm. WTI, just a chick, a finger temp check under at work under the table five minutes ago. She's still stumbling. I, good for you, man. Don't do that at work. <laughs> Wango Tango. K to the Swiss, were you forking with it? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Were you fucking with it? Uh, do I want to know? El Snow said, look up this. Queef Nugget. Oh, God, no. Urban Dictionary. Let's check it out. Uh, it can't be good. Uh, it, of course it can't be good. I'm just saying. I'm wondering if it has anything to do with uh, Starburst mugging. I hope not. Oh, a vaginal projectile propelled by the force of a particularly powerful queef, usually a crusted remnant of a woman's most recent ovulation or perhaps the hardened remains of a particularly impressive ejaculation, most commonly produced by only the skankiest of women with the most questionable of hygienic habits, sometimes used as a colorful insult. (laughs) There was just an article about some prostitute who retired after 50 years. Oh, well, yeah, but that was World News Daily Report, so yeah, yeah, it, it's satire. Uh, yeah, but still, I mean, 500,000 you know, and three presidents. Oh, God, why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what you want. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Thor Gustafson starts out looking like a peach pit, ends up looking like a cow pie with a hoof print in it. F the enemy and hooray for us. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Sounds gnarly. Gnarly. Crazy uncle. Spam meal for you. Slice thin, pan fry, put butter on the bread, turn it into a sandwich. It's surprisingly good. Also, really good for hangovers. Hint, hint. I, I, I cooked up spam all the time in the barracks. Oh, yeah, like, bro. Mixed it with ramen. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's spam and eggs with rice for me, man, all day long. I've all had breakfast day long. Three days a week. Pulse Kebab, $25 donation on Streamlabs. Thank you so much, good sir. Gentlemen, beer monies, I may or may not be taking a nap. Don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Corn Pop is a bad dude. <laughs> Jackal the Emperor with a $10 donation. Thank you so much. What's up, you condescendingly underwhelming knicker ticklers? Money for the menagerie. You know, he made an acrostic with that. Mm. Think about it. Condescendingly, underwhelmingly, knicker ticklers. Mm. Con- Sounds refreshing. But it's really not. Jumping over to MGTOW.TV to see if we have any donations over there. Yes, we do. From Iapetus, my old man is planning to retire soon. Congrats to him. And when I bring up facts slash stats and articles like these, he acts like it doesn't concern him. What he doesn't realize, possibly, is that when the shit hits the fan, his retirement money will become completely useless. We need to stop with the mindset of it's not in my backyard, it doesn't matter. Amen to that. That's absolutely correct. And But the thing is, is like a lot of older people do that to basically defend their their psyche yeah it's going to be absolutely devastating if you've been working your entire life and all of a sudden you're penniless homeless and can't work yep it is very it's not going to be good for a lot of people man Mm -mm. dick almighty we need a follow-up show on the mocock girl i bet she married a straight-laced religious military officer attends church every sunday and when he goes tad the kids go to the grandparents and she goes crazy well, I'm not going to say I have not seen some questionable women that I have known wind up being officers' wives. Back in the day. Back in the day. Not that that's ever happened or anything. <laughs> oh, oh, the worst part. He comes home to a pristine, clean home and kisses her on the lips. Uh, <laughs> yep. He's going to kiss the lips that suck the dick that plowed her an ass. Yeah. Not a good day. Oh, that was kind of kind of sticky. Did you just put on chapstick? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Mm. Uh, 
it's nasty. I just grossed myself out. <laughs> Yeah. With that being said, uh, we haven't talked about it yet on this show, but what do you say we dive into the Rittenhouse trial? Actually, I've been chomping at the bit because I've watched quite a few um, videos on this particular thing. And the funny part is, is the prosecution is... like you, You're like, are they intentionally throwing this case? It's like they don't care. I, I don't get it. I don't know. Or, or maybe, you know, he went to, like, the Biden School for Cognitive Retraining, but something is wrong. Well, you know what I would love to see happen? I would love to see a not guilty on all charges. Yeah. And then the jury actually, you know, in their remarks, state that the prosecutor should be sued for malicious prosecution. Yeah. I mean... It, any jury taking things strictly on the evidence, which is what they are supposed to do, yes. could not convict this guy in a million years. But the thing is, that's why the prosecutor charged him with a whole litany of shit. Of course. Because they're going to try to get at least something to stick. I mean, That's so fucking wrong. The Either only you do the crime could, or you don't. Yeah, the only thing that they could even potentially get to stick is that he was underage with a firearm, but that's a misdemeanor, and for that he'll probably get time served or maybe a small fine. But that'll be more than made up by the fact that he's got an ironclad civil suit against all these mainstream media outlets who still call him a white supreme pizza even after all this evidence has come out. Fuck, what's her nuts over at the Young Turks actually had to come out today and say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I about had a fucking heart attack. But the thing is, that it, it doesn't matter if, that's what people don't seem to understand, is a lot of people were like, well, they apologized. We're beyond that now. Yeah, we're beyond that. We we are, are so fucking beyond that that you need to start suing these people and these companies and hitting them at the bottom line. There should be no need for anyone to apologize because we all saw the same damn video. Correct. Or un unless you saw the edited version that they actually tried to present in court. That was fucking primo. Well, <laughs> here's another thing. that the, When... Uh, the defense saw the, that video from the FBI, and they're like, wait a minute, this wasn't given to us. That's an automatic mistrial. Yeah, automatic. That's an automatic mistrial right there. Yeah. And that, that prosecutor, that's his, that's his career should go up in yeah. smoke right and there. And the fact that Biden, in a campaign ad last year, singled him out as a white supreme pizza... That should already be mistrial. You're, you're literally talking about the highest office of the land weighing an opinion in on a trial. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, that's... That's fucking nuts. We're done. We're wow, done. that's crazy. Uh, Chauvin's verdict should have been thrown out because of Maxine Waters pulling her horse shit and the fact that the jury was never sequestered. Yep. Bullshit. It, 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 you just can't have people weighing in on this stuff. It's, no. I mean, it... All right. Now, historically... We set up our legal system the way it is because the people from the 1700s were fucking sick and tired of watching their relatives or their friends get accused of horse shit, punished, without even being able to defend themselves. Yeah. And that, that's exactly what's happening here. I mean, this is fucked up. It is fucked up. And there will be a video that boils this down better than we ever could. It's called The Truth About Kyle Rittenhouse in 11 Minutes. We're not going to watch it here on the stream, but it is definitely worth watching for people who don't really know the full story. Yeah. There will be a link on redonkulous.com after the stream and yeah. in a pinned comment. Yeah, I watched, uh, I watched about half of it. It's pretty it's, good. It wasn't too bad. But for those of you who don't know, we're going to give you the, you know, the bare minimum facts on the case. I mean, we know that he was shot at. He ran away from the scene, and a bunch of idiots who thought he was doing the shooting, even though the shooting was coming from the opposite direction, tackled him, pointed a gun at him, tried to beat him to death. Two of them are now dead, and one of them has a shredded bicep. Winning. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to cut his ass muscle off and put it there. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, actually. That'd be his new, his new drinking name, He, ass he arm. literally wouldn't be able to tell his ass from his elbow. <laughs> ass arm. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Only I could think of some crazy shit like that. These are the criminal records of the men shot in Kenosha. Uh, let me see here. Joseph Rosenbaum. This dude. Now, this, guy's a this guy 
fuck this dude. Oh, yeah. He, he's one of the ones who died. Mm-hmm. Open case for misdemeanor bail jumping that was filed on July 30th, 2020. Uh, conditions of bond read not to possess or consume alcohol, not to possess or consume controlled substances with or without a prescription, no contact, including the residents, electronic or third party with. Oh, so there's an, a, a restraining order thrown in there. Gee, I wonder why. Could it be that he was a convicted sex offender charged by a grand jury with 11 counts of child molestation and inappropriate schmexual activity with children, including anal rap? Hey. Oh my the God. victims were five boys ranging in age from nine to eleven. This is one of the dudes that the media wants you to feel sorry for. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not. I have no sympathy for Chomos. Yeah, I just don't. That's just horrific. His name was removed from the sex offender registry almost immediately after he died, probably to try to tilt the sympathy scales in his favor. Yeah, how how is that even fucking possible? Uh, it's Wisconsin, and as we all know, they were part of the ice cream social. Yes, you're right. There and you I, I just wondered, is that, like, typical? If you get smoked, you come off the registry that quick? Probably not, considering the fact that we still have tens of thousands of dead people on the voter rolls in Michigan, but we can't talk about that here. Yeah, we can't talk about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. I mean, look it's at this dude. Here. He can't even keep his fucking wang in his pants in jail. These are all of his disciplinary infractions, right, now, now, 40 of them in prison. Well, well hang on, hang on. All right. I know lots of guys who are actual prison guards, and I know lots of guys who have done time and gotten out. And if you have somebody in there that doesn't like you, for whatever reason... They can do shit like this. They can run a fucking charge sheet on you all day long. There's okay. nothing you can well, do about we'll it. disregard it then. So any of the shit that took place in the institution, unless he, like, killed people, I, I'm just, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm just being fair here. Yep. It's I, I, I disregard that. Yep. And then we have Gage Paul Grosskreutz. Kreutz? Is that the guy who got Tough his arm life. shot off? Yes. Yeah, you're showing me the arm. And, and I don't want to see. Ah. The, what, the most important thing about this photo is that in his hand, he still has the gun, which the mainstream media tried to claim was a cell phone. Yeah. Uh, he also has some, uh, I mean, nothing major here, uh, misdemeanor, uh, 2016 for going armed with a firearm while intoxicated, uh, a forfeiture case for not showing obedience to officers, as well as one for loud noise. Oh, oh, hang on. I am. That's stupid. I'm fucking totally against, uh, you know, asset forfeiture. Yeah. That's, that's just fucking, you're getting strong armed by the government. That's fucked up. Yeah. Then we have the other uh, stunning and brave uh, arsonist, looting, murderer, whoever the hell, Anthony M. Huber. He looks like he has a man bun. Automatic homo suspicion point. Yeah. Disorderly conduct conviction from 2018 as a domestic abuse repeater, which means more than one. So we got these two charges here, mm-hmm. and then you keep on going down. And then we got, oh, look at this. One, two, three, four different instances of domestic abuse along with use, use of, of a dangerous, dangerous weapon. weapon. Now, that doesn't have to be a gun. No, it, no. It could it, be a lot of things. Yeah, it could be your fist. It could be anything. So, uh, yeah, bad news bears. But but these are the people that I'm supposed to feel sorry for. Well, listen, I I don't want to see anybody get fucking killed. No. And I... Uh, it's but a, I'm not going to throw a 17-year-old kid in no. jail for the rest of his life no, for these three guys. No, no, it's not worth it. Yeah, f- well, first of all, he's 17. Second of all, I watched the videos, and from what I've seen, it does look like self-defense. Oh, it is beyond now, a shadow of a doubt. You know, at 17 years old, I don't know why his family allowed him to go out to that fucking craziness. That his father should have put his foot so far up his ass he wouldn't let him out. I mean, I guess he is a volunteer firefighter normally. I gotcha, I gotcha. So, but yeah, should he have been over there alone? No. Yeah, that's another thing that really pisses me off. That was bad off. form. A 17-year-old kid with a car 15, and he's by him fucking self. You need to have a fire team with you, a minimum of four fucking people. Yeah. So that shit doesn't happen. If he'd have been, If he'd had four people with him, or even three... None of this would have happened. Yep. Because people are not going to run up on you if you have three other people with you and start trying to grab shit off you. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. And so his friends that were with him that weren't that that abandoned him, fuck you and the <laughs> horse you rode in on. You you fucking set this guy up for failure. Yeah, or murder very nearly. If he was not armed, he'd be dead. Wow. I don't know. Those three dudes were going after him for keeps. Well, I'll, yeah, 
Uh, he might. He, I don't know. I, I I can't see the future. I'm not that good. So I don't. Well, know. Well, literally, you have a guy pointing a gun at him. Another guy mm-hmm. beating him over the head with a skateboard. I don't know if you have ever been hit with one of those. Yes, I have. It is not pleasant. <laughs> I've been see. I've been hit with bats, axe handles. I've been crushed in between two pallets, set on fire, kicked by a man and horse. <laughs> so I've 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 roughed up this meat suit quite a bit. Oh, I've been blown bit. up a couple. Of yeah, yeah, that's very true. Shot at. Uh, the FBI should get blown up after this shit. The FBI allegedly lost the Rittenhouse video and never told the defense it existed. That's an automatic mistrial. Automatic mistrial. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, th- first of all, that's blatantly incompetent, right there. It's just a bit, you know. And you know, the FBI is not batting a thousand, and their their public persona is going down fast. Now, it is drone footage, so there's not a whole lot that you can tell from it, but it has been put together with other angles to give you a more complete picture. Let's take a look. Yeah. And uh, hang on, stop it real quick. Now, if the FBI put this together, they've had prof- like professional analysts go through this whole thing. Okay, and for them to say, oh, we lost it, get Bullshit. the fuck out of here. Remember, this is the same organization that knowingly went after a sitting president using opposition research collected by Russians that they knew for a fact was bullshit. It was completely fabricated. They are about as incompetent and corrupt as alphabet agencies come. Well, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. All right, so this is cell phone video. There's Rittenhouse. Uh Uh-huh. And another thing, he should have been in better shape. Anybody need medical, he's calling. So he's clearly rendering aid. Yes. You know, such a white supreme pizza thing to do, right? Yeah, further. Uh huh. That's another thing, too. They claim that this is about white supreme pizza. Did you notice? You know, those particular people who got shot by him all seem to have a, a, right. a, a lacking of melanin in yeah, common. They yeah. They're all melanin challenged. Exactly. That guy's high. And he's either high or he's talking with a dick in his mouth. Or both. Yeah, it's very well could you, be. You just don't know what's going on after 10 o'clock these I mean, days. he may not be gay, but, you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's, once again, rendering aid. I believe at the time that this went down, he was attempting to put out a dumpster fire that was located dangerously close to gas pumps. I saw that footage, yeah. See, that's thermal see, right there. Yep, there was a, you thermal can see the is fires. a bitch. Yep, Rosenbaum was just tagged there. Zeminski, here comes Rittenhouse. Yep. He sees the fire. He's trying to go and turn it out. He's yelling, friendly, friendly. Yep. You won't do shit, man. Zeminski is one of the dudes. Wait, uh-huh. he, that's the dude who actually fired off three or four shots. There we are. There's the gunshot. Oh, there we go. Rosenbaum yelling at him, even though he's clearly not the one firing the shots. Yeah, see, those are coming from way over here. Yeah. How do you how do you fuck that up? Well, if like you can fuck with anything if if you want your narration, how your narrative you want it projected to the public. Yeah. You can fucking do all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, but this is this is the gloriousness that is the lamestream media. Look at that. That they set up this narrative and it has come tumbling down so fast. Gage Grosskreutz forced to admit that he pointed a gun at Kyle Rittenhouse before he got his arm blown off. I want to know. You got him on fucking tape with a gun. Yep. He shouldn't. His permit was expired. He shouldn't even have the gun because he's. A convicted? No, this guy is the one who has barely anything on his record. He has a misdemeanor, nothing else. Oh, he doesn't have. No, he doesn't this have is the, not one of those domestic guys. abuse charges. No, but he did have an expired permit. He shouldn't have had the weapon. Yep. And he showed up to a riot with a weapon. Yeah, that's generally frowned upon in Look, a legal setting. I mean, it's one thing if you're in your car, you have a you have a weapon with you. If you have a permit or not, I mean, I understand things happen. You're driving around, and all of a sudden, you have a mob of people. Yep. And you got to handle business. 
That's yeah, not what happened here. No, no. But if you are a participant in the protest and you show up with firearms, boom. Yeah, I mean, this is fucking insane. For those of you who have not heard it in his own words, pour yourself a shot because it's glorious. Here we go. That's a photo of you, yes? Yes. This okay. guy lied the There's the gun time. right there. It's circled. Mm -hmm. That's Mr. Rittenhouse? Correct. Okay. He's pointing it at his head. <laughs> now, you'd agree your firearm is pointed at Mr. Rittenhouse, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and once your firearm is pointed at Mr. Rittenhouse, that's when he fires his gun. Yes? No. Uh, yes. He just lied on the stand. Well, hang on. But that he looks does like my... He does correct himself. Oh, first of all, this guy has been... He lied to the police originally. Yep. They just... They, 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 he went on CNN and tried to play the victim. Well, the thing is, it's like they, they catch him here in his testimony like, what, half a dozen lies? Oh, of course. And I cannot believe this guy is being charged. Oh, here we go. And bicep being vaporized, yes. Okay. Oh, I'm the victim. And it's being vaporized as you're pointing your gun directly at him. Yes? Yes. Okay, so when you were standing three to five feet from him with your arms up in the air, he never fired, right? Correct. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> this should, this is insane. Their whole case has gone up in smoke. Well, first of all, the weapon was already in Illinois. Somebody else had purchased it and stored it at, it, oh, at yeah, their house. So the, the weapon trafficking charge is gone. There is no weapon, tra weapon trafficking here. Yeah. They're still trying to charge him with it, even though they know for a fact that the weapon came from Kenosha. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> I mean, there shouldn't be a 17-year-old kid with it. Yeah. What I don't understand is why there wasn't a local militia there breaking this shit up. I don't know. Because that needs to start happening. Somebody needs a local militia to break this dude's shit up. Yeah. This no is, one this, invited this mother for to care to the party, but here he is anyway. He's committing a felony on, on, on tape. Yep. George Floyd's nephew makes video threatening jurors if they do not convict Kyle Rittenhouse. I'm sorry. What fucking skin in the game does this sack of shit even have? Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about the color of his skin. God, what an asshole. Oh, <sighs> Yeah, and you know what? I mean, me this is, I mean, if you want to have a fair trial, you, you just can't be threatening jurors. I'm sorry. That's just insane. But don't take our word for it. Listen to the man himself. Here we go. Of y'all, all power to the people. Thanks for everybody who shared. Thanks for everybody who's staying, who's standing in solidarity with the Wright family. Like I said, justice for all stolen lives. Reopen all cases. Justice for our babies. Listen. What? We demand transparency, man. Nothing but the best, man. We want transparency in these courtrooms, man. Stop it. Man. And I did it for... I, I don't have a problem uh, with transparency. The, the media is broadcasting the entire trial. Yeah. Well, and, but they're lying about it. I know they're lying about it, but you can watch the trial and, and figure out that they're lying for yeah. you or My so. thing is, I don't have a problem with transparency. No, neither do I. I'm totally cool with it. But what he's talking about here is illegal. Floyd yeah. trial, man, have court TV up in there. They got court TV up in there in the Kenosha. They got... I ain't even so he flat the out admits that. that there's already transparency because they have court TV in there broadcasting the trial. Yes. And yet. I know that's up in the, in the Kenosha, I mean, in the Kenosha trial. But there's cameras in there. Yep. It's definitely cameras up in there, and there's definitely right. people taking pictures of the juries and everything like that. We know what's going on. So we need the same results, man. We need the same results. Justice for Dante Wright. Justice for all stolen lives. Peace and love. Uh, Dante Wright had nothing to do with Kenosha. So eat my ass. I mean, there's nothing to do with Rittenhouse. No. And uh, Dante Wright had it coming, so eat my ass with a spoon. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to throw a 17-year-old kid in prison for the rest of his life because wah? Yeah. That's basically what they're I mean, asking for. The whole thing is fucked up. Yes. Okay, the police should have fucking shut this down before they started setting shit on fire. You know, I mean, what the fuck? And they keep... Doubling down. Yep. Even after everything that we've seen. I mean, the, the dude admitted that he was pointing his gun at him before he fired. 
You've seen the videos. We know that he was being shot at. We know that he was being physically assaulted and felt like his life was threatened because he had three dudes basically dogpiling him. One had a gun. One was hitting him with a skateboard. Yeah, another one was a crazy guy who wanted to bugger him in the ass. Yep, and they keep pushing the debunked narrative as it crumbles right before their eyes. I'm sorry, but when Anna Kasparian has to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, just follow suit, because that bitch never admits anything. Well, the only reason she probably apologized is after everything was said and done, there was probably a lawyer like, you know... You could probably If get he doesn't caught. get convicted, he's going to shut your channel fucking down. Uh, yeah. I mean, as, I mean, no. Slander is spoken and print it's liable. On the Young Turks, would it be both? I don't know. It's liable when it's uh, Slible. On <laughs> it's on video. It's a salable. <laughs> a I, I just can't believe this. This is just hilarious. I mean, this misinformation campaign has just been... Hitting it's, the ground running. It's propaganda. Go. It's complete propaganda. It's propaganda. And, and what does, the and fuck do they have to gain by I've, crucifying a 17-year-old kid? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... I mean, I think one of the reasons why they want to do uh, crucify the 17-year-old kid is they don't want other people getting ideas and people coming out with their guns and putting a stop to this rioting and, and, and destroying and shit. Because that's all it would take. Well, that's that. That is all it would take, because these people are cowards. Well, uh, yeah, they are. But you know, all I could say is, where I live, if people were setting fire to like the car lots and stuff, I would probably intervene because that's that's starting to fuck with my mojo. Yeah, because that that's that's fucked up, man. Oof. I love this. The, 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 this tweet did not age well, especially not with the facts. I mean, shit, the facts we knew at the time. Ilhan Omar, a domestic terrorist, executed two people, and according to Tucker and his supporters, this is maintaining order. Their murderous rants have inspired many mass shooters, and now they aren't even trying to distance themselves from it. They're excusing it. God help us. But 9-11 was just some people did some stuff. Yeah. And you know what? Ilhan Omar is now opened up to herself to a lawsuit by saying that shit. Yep. I love this. A 17-year-old white Supreme Pizza drove across state lines armed with an AR-15. He shot and killed two people who assembled to affirm the value, dignity, and worth of black lives. Fix your damn headlines. How about you fix your thinking, meet you dumb cunt? I just want to know, is there, does Rittenhouse have any like attorneys on standby? Oh, yeah. That are just, They're going to sue the shit out I of would these people. I want to see that. Oh, it's going to happen. If, if... The jury has been properly sequestered, and they actually have a fucking spine. This could still go south. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. people are like, well, it's just one kid, and if we if we don't convict him, then, then dozens of people could die. Like, I'm sorry, but... Uh, that's not how the system works. If that if that's your, your thought process... You need to get out. You can't keep feeding the wolves. Yeah. Well, first of all... Oh... Unfortunately, there's not a lot of people that are willing to go, hey, fuck it, I'm doing the right thing. It's very unfortunate, but you're correct. It's true. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad, but everybody thinks about themselves first. We're all intrinsically selfish. That's yeah. fine. I get it. That's why socialism never works. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, like... I pray for this dude. We know that he's innocent. Anyone with a brain stem and a, set, a working set of eyes knows that he's innocent. I mean, did he kill these people? Yeah. Was it self-defense? 100%. Yeah. Let's hope that uh, that's the verdict he gets. So, I, I would say, I mean, anyone looking at just the evidence would say it's a deadlock. He's not guilty on all charges. Maybe you can give him time served for you know possession of a firearm underage in Wisconsin. But you're allowed to have firearms. Yeah, it, well, it, 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 it's not a big deal. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I know. That's, I one, know. Of the, that's one of the bullshit charges they threw against him. Yeah. Okay. Right. If they're going to get anything to stick, logically, that would be the one thing that could potentially stick. Yep. He didn't traffic the weapon. He didn't hunt down these people and kill them. They chased him. We know this objectively. Yeah. Hey, can, uh, do we have a video of him actually using the fire extinguisher on the on the garbage bin? 
Uh, not that I found. I just wanted to keep okay. it short and concise tonight. I got gotcha. you. I mean, people out there have seen it. I've I've seen it. We've seen wondering. it rendering aid, putting out fires. We know that the reason he said he went there is why he was actually there, and the evidence backs it up. Coo 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 coo. coo All coo, right, coo. jumping back into the pooper chats. Let's check it out here. Looks like we got Well, some. first of all, how many people we have watching now? Oh, Pop always likes his roll call. He likes to make sure. Oh, 1115. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much for tuning in, but only 755 likes. Smash it. What are you doing? Smash man? it. How many how many dislikes we have? Are there 15? I, I can't see I don't see dislikes. I just see oh. likes. Uh, you guys let us know what the dislike ratio is. Have our have our 16 whiners signed in tonight? Yeah, our, our infinite haters. Yeah. Well, there's that one guy on Minds who doesn't like me. Don't give a fuck. 88 people over on Twitch. 119 on DLive. 112 on Odyssey. And 55 on MGTOW.TV. We'll jump over to those chats first. Why the hell not? All right. Aero Shogun, what's Pop's opinion on Airsoft? Civilians have been using Airsoft guns to train against other people and practice their team militia tactics. There's also this Japanese guy who never shot a gun in his life prior to coming to the U.S. and outperformed 99% of newbies and LARPers with what he learned. (laughs) Bless you. Some knock it, but I think it's good practice. I trained my soldiers with Airsoft before I sent sent them into into the box. All my guys went to Iraq, Northern Africa, Afghanistan. I all ran them through airsoft drills, and we still should do a, a little, uh, you know, prepping video about how you can modify airsoft gear to be combat ready. Because you were telling me that you know you could buy well, this stuff for like pennies on the dollar yeah, compared to the real deal. It's and virtually identical deck. to the stuff that you buy at the surplus store or at one of the outfitters. Yeah, you, you just buy gotta it deck for it out. Hundred dollars, you can go to an airsoft place and buy pretty much the same thing for like fifty bucks. Sweet. Yeah, so we could do a video on it. Yeah. Show show these guys how to deck it out. Winning. I have paid us. If this dude is part of the burning, looting murderers talking about justice for our babies, the irony is palpable as his organization encourages the genocide of white babies. Well, not to mention the fact that if you include abortions, they account for 61% of all black homicides. There's also that. Well, typically, that's what you call something when it has a heartbeat and you stop the heartbeat from beating. A little bit. It's... Yeah, it's, bit, yeah. it's a side of something. Yeah, but it's stunning and brave when you do it to something that's completely defenseless. Yeah, totally stunning and brave. I made myself angry just saying that. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Arrow Shogun accidentally wrote a non-YouTube friendly comment as a super chat. Please don't read it. Sorry about that. No, I'm going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really hope this trial is a wake-up call for those with common sense in blue states. Witness tampering, jury threatening, and bribery should not be tolerated. If you want it done right, do it yourself. Absolutely correct. Boom. Jumping over to Streamlabs. We got a Tony Stark in the chat with a $20 donation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. I watched last week's stream. Heard you had technical issues. I have 25 years of IT experience. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I might be able to help. My email address is censored. I'll get in touch with you, bro. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Dinoside 13. Man wanted for griping his baby mama returns to a place to steal a car and kids. Cops show up to stop it. He fought them, then went for a knife and was shot for it. To get justice, violent race commies tried to destroy Kenosha. As a result, the governor, Evers, did not employ the National Guard for woke points. People started to try and defend Kenosha. This led to a 17-year-old almost domed for defending the community he worked in. The people this guy shot were a serial pedo, a wife beater, and a child beater. For doing it, he is labelled a white supreme pizza, even though all three were white. And the same left that cries, believe all wham, and defends this abortion of justice caused by a grapist being shot for kidnapping. Yep. Couldn't I have said any better. Couldn't have said it any better I could better not myself. have said that any better, bro. Oh, my God. Three cheers for Dinoside 13. Oh, my God. Outstanding, brother. You you nailed it. Wow. Absolutely you nailed, nailed it. nailed it harder than Jesus Christ to the cross on that one. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Oh, holy cow. Wow. Outstanding. Uh, back over to YouTube. AF, LOV, man hires pro for five bills, sets up three consults with randos, pro collects data from each, then has pro dress for the occasion and smoke in corner one of two. 
Oh, there's more here. Then takes data, mixes in a martini shaker with vodka and drinks concoction and leaves. Not me. Why people tell me this, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you watch this show, chances are you associate with some really weird people, and they're just going to open up to you about shit. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. yeah especially at bars when people are drinking. So, uh, how many dicks have you had in you all to send? <laughs> That was classic, man. I'll put you down for three. After I got soaked with beer. <laughs> I took that like a champ, man. That was outstanding. I wish I would have been there for that one with a camera. Oh, God. That, dude, if we, had a, if we had a film that, it would have millions of views, man. Probably. Or, well, or it would be like our hammer hand video, which was skyrocketing within like three days up to 70,000 views. They age restricted it, and it's now at 71,000. Almost about a week later. Yeah. Yeah. Totally not on purpose. You're totally just looking out for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Bastards. Bullshit. Fuck you, Susan. Swamp Crawler LS1. Here dollars. Trade for beers. Hulk smash. So many stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Corn Hulk pops, smash. Man. Travis Wolf. Hey, Pop and Blake. Are you guys going to have Coach Greg Adams on the show? I could reach out to him. I got yeah. his phone number. Yeah, why not? We can then another on. good guest idea. Have Chris Knowles, a.k.a. Mr. Reagan, on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen that guy's videos. He is a surgical dissector. He knows this shit. You ever watch Mr. Reagan? I have not. Oh, he he knows his shit. Okay. He, he, he researches to a T. Cliff Watson. Spam, spam, spam. Baked beans. Spam, spam, spam. Tuna. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be sleeping in your house, man. You sleep with the windows open. Yeah. You eat nothing but baked beans and spam. Your your pants are going to be classified a level five biohazard. That's going to be a bad day. <laughs> it's going to be a very bad day. But don't sleep. worry. I mean, according to the left, you could just wear a mask and you won't smell anything. Yeah, because you know we have <laughs> a whole branches of the military. We have a whole job called NBC Nuclear Biological Chemical, and you have to wear a mop. One through four, and yeah. you have to train how to change the filters in your mask and everything. But yeah. you don't need any of that. No, no, no. You just need a diaper on your face. Yeah, exactly. You're good to go. Fantastic. I mean, according to Dr. Fauci, I mean, masks are so effective, you could just wrap one around the tailpipe of your car and solve climate change. The, uh, the, this uh, army story. Army <laughs> All right, story. here we go. All right. So I'm at the 414 Civil Affairs, right? And uh, we just got done with a, a training day. We're up at Grayling, and we're all just unwinding. And I got, there's a noob there. He's enlisted, but he hasn't gone to basic yet. So I'm talking to this guy, and he's like, and I'm like, so what, did you, what is your MOS you're going to school for? Oh, I'm going to be an NBC NCO. So, like me being the evil genius that I am, I just go, ooh, oh. And he's like, what? What's our? I go, well, 99% of the time. That school goes off without a hitch, and everything's great. But at the end, you know, you're going to put on all of your gear, and they're going to walk you into a chamber where there is a live nerve agent. And very rarely it does happen. It gets through your, your, your mask and your suit, and then you die this horrible death as your muscles rip off from the bones, and you convulse and suffocate. And they don't tell you this, but they have like a little 380 that they keep, and they put one behind your ear to keep you from suffering. And the look on this dude's face, he was just like, what? <laughs> so he goes, and he tells the supply sergeant the story I tell him. <laughs> that supply sergeant literally comes crawling into my room laughing so hard. He's like, <laughs> you told him that shit. That motherfucker believes you. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, it was it was fucking classic. I, oh, I got so drunk that night. <laughs> it's a good day. It was a good day. Uh, well, I mean, you're well on your way right now. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Hopefully, you don't have to crawl out of here. I'll just sleep on the floor. That's fine. Yeah. It's not. It won't be the. It's not the first. It'll be like when we filmed Wango Tango, and you got so drunk that you actually grabbed the dog's bed and pulled it up and put it on the ear. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. These <laughs> chicks keep waking these kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bothering me, man. That was bothering me. Uh, I mean, I think I I knew that was why it took so long to get around to that episode to the point where, I mean, you had the research for a year and a half. A year and a half. And then finally I was like, dude, episode 400 is coming up. We're, do we're just going to do it. And you're like, do we have to? <laughs> 
Yeah, it was bothering me, man. And I was just like, yes, give me all the papers. I'll fucking put it together. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I kill you. Ohio Trucker 1. Pop, if we brought back dueling, will cap and ball revolvers be allowed? Okay. If you're going to use pistols, they should be single shot. Black powder. Do it the old way. It's more satisfaction that way. Ah. Like, if you have a revolver, you get six shots, you know, there's a lot of craziness can go on. Yeah, just go full Barry Lyndon with it. Yeah. And then, you know, like, my my whole idea of dueling is you can have swords, you can fight with your fists, and you can use guns, and then you have the option of medical attention or no medical attention, and then... You know, when your, your day comes for your dueling, you can sell the rights on pay-per-view. So if you survive, there's a little paycheck in it. For oh, you. there you go. There you go. Not bad. You got to build a special building. Yeah, you got all your camera equipment. You got a medical people. Then you got to have your dueling experts. Yeah, I mean, course. it's all industry there. Yeah. And end result, people be a lot nicer. Yeah, I think society would be way more polite if we had fewer keyboard warriors. Because I think that would be hilarious. He said, what about me on Facebook? I need to schedule uh, dueling. <laughs> and then one day, just knock on his door. I'm sorry, you've been challenged to a duel. You have to report. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. We're way behind that now. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think Mark Zuckerberg would last? Ah, uh, To be honest... He wouldn't even. He would never show up. Well, he probably would, and then coward. we, you know, he would take a shot directly in the chest, and then we would finally have proof of what we all already know. He's a cyborg. Yeah, a yeah, cyborg, and not a very good model. Or android. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Jeff Schroeder, Kyle Rittenhouse did society a favor. Well, as long as he gets off, he did. Well, the thing is. Even if he's found innocent, they're still going to fuck his life up for the rest of his life. It'll take him 30 years to get beyond that. Well, that's why the libel and slander suits are going to come into play. Because like uh, you know, the Covington kids, he gets exonerated. He goes after all these mainstream media networks. They all settle out of court with NDAs. He's never going to have to work a day in his life. Well, I don't want him to settle out of court. No, I want him to wreck these motherfuckers. That's, you, have to, you have to take it to the wire, man, because... That's that's the only way you get the, the big enough judgments to basically sink these motherfuckers. Yeah. Deadly raver, a pedo, an abuser, and a felon all walk into a bar. Kyle Rittenhouse looks over and says, shots are on me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I like up. it. That's fucked up, man. It's funny, though. Barosif, did you gents hear about Project Veritas getting raided by the FBI because of Brandon's daughter's diary? Yeah, th well, that's one way to take a conspiracy theory and lend it all kinds of credibility overnight. I, I heard about <laughs> that. In fact, uh, I was watching YouTube. And yeah. It, 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 it literally happened like 15 minutes. It was on the YouTube so fast. Yep. And apparently the, there are things in that diary about... Uh, Brandon taking showers with his mm -hmm. daughter when she's clearly old enough to remember. Yeah, but the thing is, is that diary has been PDF'd and sent out to the entire internet already. Yeah. So it, it, it it's out there. All right, now Veritas couldn't confirm if it was legit, so they didn't run the story. But sending the FBI over there, yeah, and, but basically, and that, a that's year how, ago, that's how you admit it without admitting it. Well, a year ago, he, he was he contacted the FBI to give it back to him. Yeah. So you know, it's a bunch of horseshit. It is just horseshit. They were looking for an excuse. Mm -hmm. Doctor Detroit, experience would have you on the high ground. Hoorah! All right. Yeah. Gaz M. Pop and Blake. If forty five got reinstated tomorrow, but the catch was you had to have a four way with Pelosi, Maxine Waters, and Lori Lightfoot, would you do it? No. No, not not Maxine Waters. That, yeah, that, that, that's just that's a bridge too far. <laughs> there are uh, any of them. <laughs> there are some grenades that you just shouldn't you just fall on. You just don't jump on them. Or no, you just don't you jump that's, on the grenade, man. That's it's terrifying. Nah, I would say that's even more grotesque than the Tess Holiday Neapolitan three way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Cliff Watson, rooftop Koreans. Yes. Catawampus, Kyle Rittenhouse versus. 
two and a half men <laughs> the night of the dirt tart. Oh, God. <laughs> dirt tart. Yeah. I like it. Alan Flinchbaugh, hashtag progressives for necro. If dead people can vote, they can bump uglies too. Huh. Well, why do you think they like Twilight? I mean, you know, when you boil it down, a chick banging a vampire, that's necrophilia porn. Dude, I was with my uh, prepper group up north yeah. over the weekend, and we're drinking. And two of these guys start arguing whether vampires can get erections or not. Well, they technically don't have heartbeats. I know. And the other guy's like, yeah, they do, because I saw all of the Twilights. <laughs> and I'm sitting there holding this <laughs> thick glass of whiskey, and I'm like, because that makes it all true. You're like quoting like the documentary or something. Do go on, you drunk idiot. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking hilarious. Uh, no, he, he wasn't actually banging her with his erection. He just, he got the, somebody drunk tried to stake him through his heart and went through his ass instead. And he's like, I can use this. <laughs> yeah, all, all we were doing up there is, uh, you know, people are, you know, zeroing rifles and stuff for deer season coming up. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, women always like a good stiffy. I'm just saying. The pimped out platypus. I'm a blacksican dude, and the lefties talk of racial issues as an insult to my intelligence. I do not want or need those fools to speak for me. Now, did he say he was a blacksican? A blacksican, yes. Okay, I've got to write that down. <laughs> dude, you made the book, man. Uh, right, blacksican's man. going in the book. Congratulations, good sir. Okay, it's a blacksican. I mean, I mean, that's as good as getting a free shirt when it comes to pop right there. Jaffo on the bound. I got nostalgic and bought an LVB kit able to carry first aid, butt pack, and 15 mags with a Beretta holster for under $150. Never mess with old school. Yeah, listen. Um, like the old LBE that they wore in Vietnam at eight and all the way up to like the two, early 2000s. Yeah. That shit works. Yeah. It, fucking awesome. I mean. Hey, what, what works, it works. Fucking works. Yeah. Pork a bus, $25 Canadian with a donation. Thank you so much. Evil Zombie Toe, remember that we still don't know the facts of what happened in Vegas. The truck outside the federal courthouse is no longer a story. The guy who rammed two White House guards never happened. Hmm. Yeah. You can always tell when a false flag goes bad because yep. it disappears. Irish lever 7745. Box cutters and twine dipped in broken glass going JCVD blood sport. Do they? I don't know if they actually used glass back in the day. I kind of messy. Hollywood shit. It'd be pretty messy. But you, you see the movie JCVD? It, that's literally what it's called. No. Van Damme plays himself. Mm -hmm. Gives a fucking outstanding performance. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, the look of the movie looks like the director, you know, kind of fell in love with Zack Snyder and decided to masturbate all over the film print. But it's a really good movie, aside from how it looks. All right. 9 by 23 would men be able to duel their ex-wives? That would be a hell of a pay-per-view. Yeah, why not? Uh -huh. Why not? Men and women are equal. Uh, equal rights. There's, there, there's no difference. Equal lefts. Yeah. Except for the vast biological differences that feminists spent years saying didn't exist, and That's now it. when you have an intergender MMA fight, suddenly they exist again. Yeah. It's amazing how that works. Or it's funny how the, the trans women show up, to like track events and like destroy everyone. Yeah. Mm. And it never goes the other way. You never see you know, female to male transitions dominating track sports. Uh, occasionally they win. Occasionally. Yeah. I mean, you know, somebody's got to win sooner or later. You do it, you, you do it <laughs> enough times. That broken clock is right twice a day. I mean. Yeah. Uh, Leo Kun 481. Hey, Pops, love the work you do. What are your thoughts about the military deadline for the Aushi and the threat of administration SEP? Okay, now, I was just uh, tracking that one lieutenant colonel, that uh, the Marine Corps guy, I don't remember his name. He literally uh, went, to his, he went to his court-martial, and the judge was like, he, he should, well, they said he can get a general or an honorable. Now, I'm, he, he strongly suggested he get an honorable. And all he did, the judge was like, all he did was bring up the question of accountability. Like any good yeah. officer should. It's exactly what should be. So, yeah. It, it, giving thousands upon thousands of people dishonorable discharges, number one. 
If you want to have a volunteer army, that is a great way to stop people from volunteering. Yeah. All right, number two. To give somebody a dishonorable requires a full court-martial. You're not going to court-martial that many people, especially like if if you are a PFC and your chain of command is jumping your shit and like, we're going to give you a dishonorable discharge, you say, all right, I'll take that. I want uh, Just give me a court-martial and we'll just get it all on the table right now. That shit will disappear. You'll wind up with them. They will chapter you out of the military, but chances are you'll get a minimum of a general, but more than likely it'll be honorable. All right. Now, first, I, I, it just, I'm just beside myself at how fucked up they've made our military. So It's pretty damn bad, man. It's been, I spent my entire life in there. I love the military. I love the Army, and they yeah. just fucked it up for everyone. Everything woke turns to shit. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, it's just a fact. It sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, smooth criminal. We need to bring back the little drummer boy, the flute and the flag guy, like back in the day. I used to be CBRN. That live nerve chamber scares everyone. Yep. Michael Simmons. Friendly reminder: Learn how to cook acorns. Also, look into sun ovens slash cookers for opsec. Yeah, I already am up to speed on the whole acorn cooking thing. Yeah. Basically, you gather the acorns, mm -hmm. you take them out of the shells, and you have to boil them a certain amount of times to get the tannic acid out. Then you grind them up and dry them, and it's very similar to cornmeal. Nice. More protein in it, though, because it's technically a nut, not a, not a piece of corn. Right on. All right. It is time for Pop's favorite graphic. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Never gets old. I'm scared. <laughs> Where did you get that vomiting lips thing? I, I just found it randomly. Somebody posted it for free on YouTube as like a green screen graphic. I'm like, oh, that's gross. I like it. Ah, it's mine now. I like it. This is just too hilarious. Now, if you haven't watched this. CNN host claims CRT isn't taught in Virginia schools and gets wrecked with receipts. Have you seen this? I have not. Oh, you're going to love it. The cognitive disconnect is so juicy, you could probably slap it on a grill. You're sick. Oh, here we go. I think, I think what... I think what Democrats are going to continue to do is talk about Donald Trump. I think Republicans are going to continue to talk about issues. Glenn Youngkin won his race because he talked about issues. And I think that's what's going to happen. What we're going to see is, just like in, just like in Virginia, Terry McAuliffe wanted to say, oh, there was nothing about critical race theory. We know, that it, we know it's true. Parents know it's been, their kids are being indoctrinated with critical race theory in Virginia. And the Democrats wanted to deny it. I mean, and so well, it's the not in the curriculum. Oh my God! It's a, I mean, to. just just to be clear, it's not it's not in the curriculum. What? Um, oh. In Virginia, uh, just oh, just to oh, be. Oh, Brian, would you like me to here? Let me just read you a few things. Just to. In 2015, while Terry McAuliffe was governor, the Virginia Department of Education promoted incorporating a critical race theory lens in education. You can still find it on the Department of Education's website. Damn. It's still there. <laughs> In February 2019, a it's superintendent not, of the Virginia Department of Education promoted Senator, critical race theory and not, the idea of white fragility. Okay. It's not, it's not <laughs> part of the curriculum. It's not part of the curriculum, I'll, except I'll, he's I proving that it is. You, just to be clear about Brown, where you are. Let's, let's all agree. Just, they were trying to indoctrinate kids. Terry McCullough denied it. It's still on the website. Wow. It is, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope Democrats continue to say it's not and happening. And she's stunned into silence. She doesn't know what to do. They can see well, it. She, they're paying her to toe the line. You she's pitching propaganda. The person in her ear is probably picking their ass, wondering what the hell to say. Well, just keep repeating it. Yeah. You know? Like I said, propaganda does not survive when you put it under the light of truth. Yep. Just keep facts. repeating it. That, that'll make it true if you keep repeating are it. Are dumb, you said? Aren't dumb. No, they're not. I think parents are smart. My parents didn't have much of a formal education, but they cared about what I learned. This, parents I, are smart. I just, I they just want to be clear. Okay, that the, Senator, the I just Virginia have to be clear. Department it's education not... promoted critical race theory, and, and Terry McAuliffe said they didn't. I hope okay, Democrats listen, keep doing that all Senator, across the country. No. Oh. <laughs> it's not part of the curriculum. I would like. She, he just proved it and brought receipts. Hang on. Hang Wrecked. On. Hang on. <laughs> 
There you go. And the funny thing is, is that I guarantee you, not long after this aired, the Department of Education for the state of Virginia went in and made some updates. It, it, it doesn't matter because you could you could change your website all you want. It's people. The have, internet is forever. Yeah. Because before somebody was able to do that, somebody like us went to their website and archived it. Because fuck you. That's right. Listen, that's another thing we should have all, our, all the people who watch this show do. If you come across crazy fucking shit on on public websites, archive it and send it to us. And send it to us and send it to the archiving sites. Boom! That chick was caught with her pants down, and not in the way that you know got her a lot of different promotions. And she's just a talking head. You, there's she had an earphone in. No, 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 no. You keep uh, repeating the same thing. No, no, it's not true. It's not true. Uh, you gonna come over later? You gonna suck my dick? Well, first of all, you have a senator. He's like. I, I looked at the website. It's still there. It's not in the curriculum. I, it, did but, you not hear what I just said? But it's still there. It's still there. But it's not. I, I, God bless him. I could not deal with that kind of stupid. I'd be like, I, if I was there, I'd be like, I know I'm a senator, but you goddamn cunt twat. <laughs> it's on their goddamn website. <laughs> Fucking, you know, separate your brain cells, have them multiply so you have like four or eight so you can make a, a, a decision here because you're an absolute fucking idiot. Amen to that. If they promoted me to Congress, I'd be getting in trouble all the time. I'd be like, they're on the floor. You fuck your mother. <laughs> We're going to censure you. Yeah, censure this. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking stupid. You're wasting money. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you find that funny. I'm being totally serious. Uh, oh, that's 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 gonna be one of the grunt speak shorts, man. <laughs> can you imagine me there? Like, can you imagine me like, what? 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 Uh, Are you, the floor goes to Terrence Pop from Michigan? I start my time. Y'all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> you twit cunt motherfuckers. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, Mr. Like, Pop, Mr. Pop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and if they turn my microphone, I'd have I pull out my, my briefcase on my megaphone. I'm like, yeah, fuck y'all. All right, I'm going to talk over y'all. <laughs> and then the knife hand would come out, yeah. and that's when you know it's really busy. Uh, you, but the thing is, if I had, if I did that on a regular basis, the floor would be packed every time I was scheduled to speak. Oh, hell yeah. like, I got to want to miss this. Because <laughs> it, it'd be just like I was on active duty oh, yeah. in Iraq. Every day, six o'clock after chow, I was at in front of the sergeant major getting yelled at for something. Every day, and people would come in on their days off and be like, "Because there's no, there's no, like, there's no ceilings. No, there's just walls, so you can hear everything." And literally, I'd be over there like, "Uh huh," yeah. and I'd have these smart ass remarks, and I could hear people over like, "Oh my god, he's gonna talk." And I, I'd, I'd leave the office, and like people would be like, <laughs> "Try because." I, I outmaneuvered that dumb motherfucker every day. Oh, it's genius. Oh, my God, I was an idiot. I hope I never <laughs> meet him. I want to kick his ass. Oh, I'm going to kick AT&T's ass for this one, man. Here we go. AT&T's racial re-education program asserts, what, people? You are the problem. Wow. Okay. This has Now, I knew about this firsthand because I have a really close friend of mine who works for AT&T, and he was talking about this. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know the details. CEO John Stanky launched the program what? last year. Did you year. say Stanky? Stanky. Is there a picture of this guy? Because he had to get his ass kicked at school. Either that or he took his wife's last name. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> or yeah. her attributes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> launched the program last year and subsequently has told employees that private corporations such as AT&T have an obligation to engage on the issue of racial injustice and push for systemic reforms in police departments across the country. If you want to reform what we have going on, you have to make the legal system open to everyone. You shouldn't have to pay somebody $300 an hour to get your constitutional rights. You need no, to no. do something about this qualified immunity because that's why we have we are where we are. Yeah, people exactly. who are running the show are making these fucking craziest decisions with no fear of any repercussions. Exactly. According to a senior employee who agreed to speak on condition of anonymity, managers at AT and T are now assessed annually on diversity issues with mandatory participation in programs such as discussion groups, book clubs, mentorship programs, and race re-education exercises. If you don't do it, you're considered a racist. 
I would not participate in that, and I would fucking sue the fuck out of the company. That's yep. reverse discrimination right there. No shit. On the first page of AT&T's Listen, Understand, Act internal portal, the company encourages employees to study a resource called White America. If you want to know who's responsible for racism, look in the mirror. White people are the problem. Regardless of how much you say you detest racism, you're the sole reason it has flourished for centuries. I'm getting so One, sick two, three. Boom! Bullshit! I'm getting so sick of this fucking bullshit, man. I'm so sick of it. My son is seven years old. Mm -hmm. Until this year, he never really noticed skin color. And it's because one of the kids in his class actually said, I'm not going to be friends with no white kids. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty sure Whitey didn't teach him that. Well, I, I used to get all these, like, you're in the, you're in the army and you get to do all this stuff because you're white. At no time ever, not one fucking time, did they go, yeah, you know, Pop, you don't have to take this PT test because you're white. Yeah, or, exactly. you want to be special forces, you don't have to go through the selection because you're yeah. white. Yeah. No. But if you want to go to an Ivy League university and you happen to have melanin in your skin, you can get points added to your SAT scores. And Well, if you're Asian, they take them away. If you're Asian, they take them away, exactly. Yeah. And if you're a woman, you go into the military, they will lower the fitness standards for you just to help you pass. And most of you will still fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they ruin their own, like the army has ruined their schools to let these women get through. Because yep. I'm going to tell you right now, the ranger school I went through, there is no fucking way. A woman would make that. Oh, hell no. I barely did it. I look like a goddamn concentration camp victim. Oh, I know. You look like a bobblehead with a broken nose. Dude, I was so fucked up. Did I? It was bad. Yeah, my nose was busted like three times. At that time, it had been broken like three times. You could smell when trouble was coming. Yeah, I got a big broken nose. <laughs> I broke it five fucking times. So uh, if you have AT&T, fuck them. Uh, and apparently, fuck American Express. Because yeah, I don't this do is just any, another one here. I don't do any business with American Express. They send me shit all the time. Nor do I. Fuck I know they them. tell you don't leave home without it, but you might want to start. American Express tells its workers capitalism is racist. That's the only the reason they exist is because of capitalism. The irony is palpable. Wow. American Express made $2.3 billion in profit last year, invited its great the great grandson of the Nation of Islam's founder to tell its employees that capitalism is evil. Billions. Billions of dollars. Billions. It was part of the credit card giant's critical race theory training program, which asks workers to deconstruct their racial and sexual identities and then rank themselves on a hierarchy of privilege. Yeah, uh, I sent you wow. that one video that being beautiful is a privilege, of course, apparently. Uh, apparently, yeah, and being thin is a privilege. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you want to be thin... You need to do take some medication to stop the Tourette's of the elbow and quit throwing fucking food in your goddamn pie hole. Uh, everything woke turns to shit. Absolutely. And Hollywood's getting hammered. Oh, yeah. All their, their woke movies. The shit, Eternals man. are failing. Even the, even the critics are turning on the Eternals. That blew my mind. I will not. I will not pay any money to see that. If I get even a hint of any woke bullshit... They're not getting my money. Just what I sniffed out in Endgame. Mm -hmm. That was the last Marvel movie that I saw in theaters. It's probably the last Marvel movie that I will ever watch. Okay. Because there was enough red flags littered in there. There was only a couple, but they were in there. It let me know exactly what was coming down the pipe, and I cashed in my chips and went home. I mean, I'll watch it for free. I'll pirate it. <laughs> but they're not getting my fucking money. Hell to the no. Sorry. And especially since most of the filmmakers that they're hiring now are these affirmative action hires that have no qualifications to be helming $200 million special effects blockbusters. I mean, the chick well, who directed figure... The Eternals, oh, she won Best Director last year, yeah, for her third film. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that she won is because it was Holly Weird and she's an Asian American woman. It, That's it, all. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Now, listen, man. I'm all for everyone getting opportunity, but you gotta you gotta do something with the opportunity that you get. Yes, you shouldn't just be like, oh, well, I got a chance to do this. Should be my outcome. That's called socialism and communism. Damn right. And it doesn't work because we're evil, hellish monkeys, and we're fucking greedy by nature. <laughs> Amen to that. Ugh. Ugh. Every time we talk about critical race theory, it makes my butthole pucker.
I, it, it infuriates me because they're literally repackaging communism and socialism and yeah. they're selling it to us as it's just Marxism. It's the same I mean. horse shit. It, listen, I would love to live in some utopia yeah. where, you know, I had plenty of food and I was never cold and everything was great. Yeah. Who wouldn't love a Star Trek universe yes. where you had food replicators? You just tell it what you want. Yeah. But it doesn't exist. No. No. In the When you come down to the earth, you need to fight for every fucking thing you have. All right. No and one's if, just going to give it to you, no matter right. how much you scream and cry and set fire to shit. Yeah, if you are not where you want to be in your life, look in the mirror, because you know, 90% of the time, it's because of you. Yeah, and that's re- mainly the biggest issue that I have with Marxism and all of its bastard stepchildren, BLM, panti-fascists, feminists, mm-hmm. all of them just envious, covetous sacks of shit who feel entitled because it's a hell of a lot easier to blame someone else than it is to look in the mirror and say, wow, I got to nut the fuck up and go out there and get some. You, you, listen, I have some friends of mine. They're not friends anymore. I cut them off. But I, I took, that's a couple of years back, this one bitching. And he went to, he went to, he went to college to learn a useless fucking skill. Shocker. I think it was a librarian or something. <laughs> okay. And he went to he went to school for this in like the late eighties, early nineties. So he thought that he was just gonna become a librarian yeah. or pay well, star, and learn the doomy decimal system. It didn't work out for him because the internet. The internet. Yeah. And uh he's been bitching about this ever since. And a couple of years ago i I just looked at him, I said, Shut the fuck up. Are you or are you not a fucking man? He's like, Yeah. You have a wife and two fucking kids. All right? So it didn't work out for you. You went to school to be a librarian. You're fucking sitting around unemployed, whining about it, blaming everyone else. You do realize you could have went to any one of the trade trades, put your name on the list to be an apprentice, and you would actually be a journeyman by now, making anywhere between $50 and $110 an hour. But no. But no, you just want to fucking blame everyone else because you fucking made a bad mistake and you can't fucking recover from it. Yep. And he was like, <gasps> he was all pissed off. And I'm like, dude, just get away from me because I'm about to give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> and the thing is, the internet isn't exactly in its infancy. No, I, it's I would been say a, it's, it's been around for a while now. It's like so. 10 years old now. Well, I mean, I was using AOL and shit like that in like 1998. I'm just saying, if you're going to give the internet an age... It would be the equivalent of a ten-year-old child. It, it is. It is good. Well, the, the internet as we know it now, as as widespread and crazy as it is, is is still in its kind of its infancy. It's but, a young child. I mean, it is going to go out of the. I fucking personally park. have been online using it for various things for over twenty years. Yep. Well, this yeah, dude. I, I mean, because I, I was writing Amazon reviews for movies and books and shit in high school. Mm-hmm. I graduated in two thousand one. Yeah, you make me feel so old. <laughs> Just saying. Fucking so bastard. the fact that this dude in 2021 is still bitching about this shit and hasn't figured out a way to make a living for himself in a post, you know, librarian world that includes the internet. Fuck you, bro. You did it to yourself. Uh, the thing is, though, is that that is the opinion or the mindset of a lot of people on the left. Mm-hmm. It didn't work out for them. It's somebody else's fucking fault. It's somebody else's fault. The government needs to force you to give me what I feel I'm owed. No, well, and I will I will say this in their defense. Our government, since the 70s, has been shipping our jobs overseas. Yep. So if you can't make a living, that's the reason. And stop voting to give them more power because you're just going to make it worse. Just making it worse. <laughs> Name one thing the government sticks its finger in that it doesn't fuck beyond all repair. Unless it's war, nothing. And even then, they still managed to fuck that up. Look at Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yeah. (laughs) Ah! Super Chats. Here we go. Moth Star Fox. I approve of that screen name. You have to talk talk about fuck up in the Army. The USA Marine got their ass kicked to the moon by the Royal Marines of the UK. It was a slaughter. Ooh. I I have to read that report. I've heard about it, but I haven't read it. I haven't read it. That, That sounds like it would be a good lair topic for you. Yeah. Primark Vulcan. 
Hey, Pop, have you ever thought about asking Razor Fist to come on a stream with you? We have. He agreed to do it, and then we tried to contact him after that. <laughs> he hasn't returned our well, email. he's busy. I, yeah, I I'd like to get him on. I'd love to have him on, too. I mean, he We should probably content. try to contact him again. Yeah, everybody confuses him with Sticks, Hex, and Hammer. They look like brothers. Uh, I'd love to have him on the stream, too. Uh, Jimmy Bones with a $15 donation. Thank you so much, good sir. Blake, that back and forth we had earlier was comedy gold. Oh, you just wait. We're going to cover we're, that. We're going to new tech shortly. Uh -huh. My shop manager asked me what I was laughing about, and I told him what we were talking about, and he was laughing his balls off. He <laughs> came up with a few of his own winning. We're going to ask you guys to come up with more of your own when you follow us to new tech. It's going to be happening shortly. You'll see. Oh, it's going to be worth Comedy gold. Going to be worth it. Yeah, you ran some of that by me. It was hilarious. Bro Sif heard the first female graduated sniper school. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, is they've lowered the standards. Yeah. Now the phrase "missed it by a cunt" here is going to have some Actual, different connotations. I mean, I, when I went to the sniper schools, they were, they were fairly difficult. The hardest yeah. part was the marksmanship, and which you still have trouble with. I have to clean up the floor every time you piss in my bathroom. You faggot. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Ott Ark with a $20 donation. Thank you so much. Great stream, guys. Keep it up. All right. We're going to try. 9 by 23. One thing I haven't seen reported about the Virginia election is the 2A supporters came out in force. We were extremely pissed. Good. I would be too. After their governor decided to pass gun legislation in the fucking dead of night that no one wanted. And, you know, at every single election moving forward... The militia units out there need to mobilize and be at the polling stations in the troublesome areas where shit, crazy shit is happening. Make sure that shit goes how it's supposed to. the Battle of Athens took place when the crazy uh, ice cream social shit was going on, and the veterans of the area said, this is fucked up. They stepped in, found out it was fucked up, did the recount, and everything was golden. Yeah. So, if... I'm just saying that yeah, they tried the same crap that they did last year. Like you start to see polling stations boarded up so that people can't see. Yeah, you need get to get the fuck in there. You need to step in there because that is just crazy. The competent man, three hundred dollars an hour for a lawyer, guys. That's like a solo practitioner. If you want or need even a medium-sized firm, we're talking five hundred to seven hundred and fifty dollars an hour. That's even more egregious. Yeah. The pimped out platypus. I see black women as a greater danger to myself than white people. I have been treated worse by ABWs than Supreme Pizzas. Ouch! Well, Savage! They're still a little surly after it was announced officially that they are the absolute bottom of the sexual totem pole. They're a little surly, and uh, the hot sauce probably doesn't help. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just ask Hillary Clinton for it. She keeps it in her purse. Listen, man. If you... All I can say is this. Most, and I mean most, is probably 60%, between 60% of Western women are spoiled. They suffer from princess syndrome. Yep. All right. You are never, ever going to do enough for them. They will never be fucking happy. And once you take the red pill, you realize... You're not fucking Bozo the Clown, and it's not your job to entertain them 24 fucking 7. No. Fuck that. And on the flip side, men by and large tend not to respond to masculinity as something they're attracted to. Yes. And by and large, stunning and brave BIPOC women tend to be extremely confrontational and overly masculine. Yep. Men are bad, but we want to be like men. Exactly. Wow. So stop stupid. creating your own problem and then bitching about it, in other words. Dude, they're going to be fucked. <laughs> I have paid us two things. One is that Dinocide 13 deserves a thug life. Two, pop for president. They would never elect me for shit. Oh, man. They would run a smear campaign on you. I would I would relish in it. I know. Yes. You're like, oh, oh, you want to run another ad? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, fuck yourself, you twat cunt bitch. <laughs> Aero Shogun. I agree that white people are the problem. Libtards, that is. White women invented modern-day feminism, voted for the welfare state, and keep the left in power. Cucked white men who gave them rights are just as bad. Malcolm X warned us that the white liberal's goal was to turn us against the white conservative. Read the quotes, please. Okay, gotta grab quotes here, apparently. 
Letters oh. we should have listened. MTDemocrat.com. MT Democrat. I like it. Mm. Let's see if they're in here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The white liberals who've been posing as our friends have failed us. The white liberal is the worst enemy to America and the worst enemy to the black man. White liberals are those who have perfected the art of selling themselves to the black man as our friend to get our sympathy, our allegiance, and our minds. And your money. Yeah. The white liberal attempts to use us politically against white conservatives so that anything the black man does is never for his own good, never for his advancement, never for his own progress. He is only a pawn in the hands of the white liberal. I cite... These things to show you that in America, the history of white liberal has been nothing but a series of trickery designed to make us think that the white liberal is going to solve our problems. Our problems will never be solved by the white liberal. The only way that our problems will be solved is when the black man wakes up, cleans himself up, stands on his own two feet, stops begging the white liberal, and takes immediate steps to do for ourselves the things that we have been waiting on the white liberal to do for us. So what he's saying in a roundabout way Damn. is stop playing the victim. Take responsibility and make shit happen. Wow. Who knew that was like good advice? This next bit here is fantastic. The media's most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent look guilty and make the guilty innocent. And that's power because they control the mind of the masses. The Democrats are playing you for a political chump. And if you vote for them, not only are you a chump, you are a traitor to your race. Oh! Oh, yeah. You put the camera. Malcolm X. No, take the X. Put it down. Damn. Damn, that was. Uh, uh, oh, I'm that, gonna save that one. That's going in the sources dude, that, afterwards. He nailed it like Jesus Christ. Boom. You can hear people squirming as they're hamming those nails of truth in. Holy damn, that damn. was fantastic. I have paid us last chat before we go to new tech. I may have already stated this, but in case I haven't, here it is. I reread the Declaration of Independence for shits and giggles, and what was scary as walking into a room full of feminists on their period is that most of the stuff Thomas Jefferson wrote about what the Brits were doing is happening now word for word. Absolutely correct. Oof. Right, before we go to te- new tech, what's our count? All right, we're going to do a final roll call here, and when we go to New Tech, I will be posting links to the pl- the uh, sites where you can watch the stream on New Tech in the live chat on YouTube, because, uh, yeah, we're about to talk about some forbidden shit. It's good times. Yeah. 1,065 Damn! on YouTube. Thank you All so right. much. 87 on Twitch. 138 on DLive, 149 on Odyssey, soon to be much more, and 69 yeah, on MGTOW.TV. All right. All right. So look for those links in the chat. Pop's going to go empty his squirrel bladder, and we will see you on New Tech shortly. Oh. <laughs>